In this video I'm going to show you how to do square roots doing Napier's bones. For most of you, you'll not think that you could possibly do square roots without an actual calculator using a set of tables, but you can it's quite simply using Napier's bones. For this one we're going to have to use the actual square root one, so we're going to take out the square root bone. The question we're going to do is we're going to find the square root of 1, 4, 4, 4. Some of you thought it was an easy one there, I was just going to go 1, 4, 4. But no, we're going to find the square root of 1, 4, 4, 4. When we're doing square roots, we've got to split the numbers into pairs. So we split that number into pairs, so we write it actually as 14... 44. Right. Now, we look down the table, we're looking at the 14 first, so we look down the table and we see which of the squares, you can see the squares there, is less than 14. And you'll see the one, the biggest one less than 14 is 9. So put the 9 below the, the 14 and we've got part of our answer so far. So our answer starts with the 3. Now, you've now got to look at the 3 and look at the number in the next column. You'll see the number of the next column is 6. So that means we now have to take the 6 bone, or our 6 bone I should say. And there's a 6 bone and we put the 6 bone in there. Right, so now we can take that away now and we're left with 4, 4, break that and we get 5. So we're now left with 5, 4, 4. So now ignore the rest of the columns and look down there and see the biggest number that's less than 5, 4, 4. So we're looking down there, you can see 1, 2, 4, that is, like with that one there, you don't need to write a lot of them down, but you'll see that one's 5, add the 2 and zeros, 2, 3, so we're still too small. The next one's 6, 9, 3, so that's still too small. The next one's 9, 6, 4, we're getting bigger, and the next one is 4, 8 and 4 is 14, 1 and 4 is 5, and that's actually our answer. So 544 4 gives us 8. So our answer is 8. If we take off the 544 4 and we get 0. So that means that the square root of 1444 4 4 is 38. The next one that we're actually going to do is a bit harder than that. The next square root we're going to do is a slightly bigger one. We're going to do 2, 2, 6, 5, 7, 6. I've already put them in pairs because that's what we need for our square roots. But that's 226,576 that we're going to find the square root of. First thing you look at is the first two numbers. Look down the square roots for the biggest one that's less than 22 and you can see 4 gives you 16. So the first part of our number has got to be 4. Put the 16 in, put your nothings in and subtract. So we get 6, 7, 5, 6. Break that one down and we get 6. And that's a new number we've got to deal with. Now, because it was a 4 that we got, if you look across from 4, you'll see that we need to put in an 8. So we take an 8 and put it in now. And now we've got to look for our next set of numbers, which is a 656 six down to the next pair. So we look for the 665 six down there and the ones that's bigger than it. And if we look in a bit, you can see that's 5, so that's probably it. So we go 9, 4 and 6 is 10, 
one out of the five goes six. We'll try the next one to see, make sure it's bigger. That's four. Four and six is ten. Nothing in one gives you seven. So you can see that that's the biggest number there. So that's wrong and that's the biggest one there. So that means our next number is seven. And we put down the 609 there. 609, zero, zero. And do the subtraction, six, seven. Break that one down and we get six, five. So we've got five, six, seven, six. But now we've got to put in the number for seven. So if you look to the second number for seven, you'll see it's 14. We haven't got a 14 bone. So what we've got to do now is we've got to get a four and we put in the four, but we've got 10 to put on. So the one has got to go on to the eight, and that means that we get a uh, uh, nine. Oops, where is my nine? So we need a nine. So we swap the eight for a nine, and that's the numbers we use. If we pull these back out, I'll show you again how that works. We looked and we saw it was a 7 that we've got there, so we need 14. So you can't get a 14, so you put in a 4, but you've got to add 1 on for the 10s onto your 8. So you take your 8 out and put a 9 in, and now we're ready for the next stage. We'll take away our old dancers, put it in there, and we're ready. We're looking at the whole number now, so it's 5, 6, 7, 6. So we're looking for that, so have a look down, and there you can see that's going to be 4, 7, so it's, not, it's going to be bigger than that. Try the next one, and we've got 6, 3 and 4, 7, 2 and 4, 6, and we've got a 5. And you'll see that that is 5, 6, 7, 6, and that is 6. So the square root of uh, 226,576 is 476. You can uh, continue them into decimals if they're not exact, but you've got to keep the decimals in pairs as well. But that's your introduction to doing square roots using Napier's bones.